You asked, do all EVs use the same charging plug? In today's video, we are making EV and plug-in hybrid vehicle charging as simple as it can be. With electric cars and hybrids circulating now more than ever, a lot of people may ask themselves, how does one fuel this new technology? One main thing to know is that not all vehicles use the same charging plug. It's unlikely that you're low on charge then find a charging station to only be stuck because the charging station doesn't have the right charger. Right now, while not all charging plugs on EVs are exactly the same, the charging equipment for electric and hybrid plug-in vehicles is pretty straightforward. and in many cases, more and more uniform. Charging from the PowerPoint is one of the most straightforward charging places for electric vehicles. Usually, a plug-in hybrid or EV comes with external charging cables as a standard inclusion or as a purchasable option, which lets you charge the car from a home wall socket. Therefore, this cable, which will obviously fit in the car, will be working with Australian PowerPoints and therefore no compatibility issues should be encountered. As this method of charging is quite slow, car owners regularly also install a dedicated car charger in their homes or use DC rapid chargers if on the road. This leads us into another extremely prevalent charging option, which is charging from a dedicated home charger. And for this option, there are two common plug-in types. For AC charging via home chargers, the most common plug-in in Australia is called Type 2, better known as the Menekes plug. This plug is the local industry standard and is used on most brands such as the MG, ZS, EV, Hyundai Kona, Nissan Leaf, and Audi e-tron. The Menekes or Type 2 plug is prevalent in the hybrid vehicle sector too and is working for cars such as the Porsche Cayenne e-hybrid and the BMW X5 xDrive 40e. The Menekes plug has seven pins for two-phase charging. However, it is also equipped with two additional pins to support three-phase high voltage charging. In Japan and North America, the J1772 plug is the most common. It is also known as the Type 1 plug. This plug has five pins, two of which are there to communicate between the EV and charging device to work out the maximum current available and also check how much more charge the battery needs. The other three pins are there to output the AC charge. On some cars in Australia, such as the Mitsubishi Outlander, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle manufactured prior to 2019, or Japanese imported EVs, you may still see a J1772 AC plug. Now the third method is DC charging, which can be broken down to three available options. For DC charging in Australia, some cars use the CHA Demo Charger, which stands for Charge De Move, which translates to Charge For Moving. Becoming the more popular DC charging in Australia is the combined charging system, which has its origins in Europe and is also the European standard. It is also the most popular DC charging for plug-in hybrid vehicles. Enables someone to charge the EV or hybrid no matter if the car has type 1 or type 2 plugs. It is the most commonly available charger for charging stations in shopping centers or on highways and has become the default connection for public charging stations. It is expected future rollouts of charging stations will utilize this technology, which also allows you to use the J1772 and the Menekes plugs. Last but not least, there is our special car, the Tesla range. These cars use their own technology and while the charger plug looks very similar to a type two Menekes plug, the communication protocol only allows Tesla cars to be charged on dedicated Tesla rapid chargers. So if you drive a car from another brand, you can't actually use the Tesla charging network as your car will not know the Tesla communication protocols. The reason we still have various plugins is that different manufacturers and different countries have different alliances and interests, but it would be expected that in the very near future, a cohesive standard solution will actually be available. Till then, Australia uses the Type 2 Menekes plug for AC charging as the most common standard. The CHADEMO or CHA demo for Japanese manufactured vehicles is also very common, and the combined CCS plus for DC charging is also industry standard. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell, and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.